on this episode of Civilization VI with Van Bradley. Oh, no. no, 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 no. This isn't happening. We're not losing. You're losing. I'm not losing. I don't lose at Civ. I don't lose at Civ. I don't lose at Civ in a game that I already committed to putting on YouTube. All right, everybody, it is turn 170 in this awesome kind of fun Tundra game as Canada. I have taken the liberty of coming here and pinning out our national park empire that we're going to settle in this really hilarious Tundra up by Japan. I'm so happy we found this area. It's just so funny to me that we have our whole empire down here and then we just yeeted ourselves past Japan to have like a national park <laughs> thing going on up here. Uh, but that's going to be a lot of Aeroscore, a lot of amenities, a lot of tourism. So that's going to be great there. Uh, the next thing I went and did is I made sure that I had open borders with all the civs that we aren't allies with. Uh, if you have open borders, it helps spread the tourism a little bit easier. And then we're going to make sure we have one trade road to each other civilization in the game as well. Those trade roads will also give you a kind of boost to your tourism going to the other empires. We are going to use our mounty units in a couple of turns to put down the national parks. We are going to use builder units to plant all the woods to give this kind of amazing appeal so those national parks are as good as possible. And from there, we're going to use our faith for rock band which get kind of expensive i suspect we'll be fine though and that's kind of the game plan for a culture win here our total culture per turn is a little bit low and that's a little unfortunate but that's okay because i think we're gonna i think we're gonna be able to land the plane on this culture victory it's just gonna take a little longer than i would like so if you come to this screen here, you can see we have a trade route with Victoria and that is giving us plus 25% tourism. So we want to have that same trade route, that same 25% with everyone else. So I'm going to do one trade route to Fukuoka as well. And now we have that 25% to Tokugawa, which should be helpful. You want to do this as early as possible in the game with open borders and trade routes as well. Um, but I think that'll be a good boost for our tourism here. Y'all have heard of the farm triangle, but I'm not sure you've heard of the ice hockey rink triangle. This is actually how Canadians are born. Uh, unlike the rest of the world, we're not born when two people, you, you, you guys know the drill, but we're not we're not born that way. We have this hockey rink triangle. It's in the middle of Manitoba. And then you have to, you have to like say a prayer to the, like the beavers and the geese, and then you have to pour some maple syrup around. And then it, the hockey rink is on like, the hockey rinks are on like a frozen lake. And then a Canadian just emerges like fully grown out of the ice cold water with high, ice skates on and everything it's crazy it's, it's so crazy you should see it if you get the chance i'm going to start grabbing builders and all the cities i can reasonably build them we have a lot of work to do to make this empire kind of higher appeal especially we have all these low appeal marshes kind of sucking up a lot of space with the atemanaki um, but we're gonna need to plant tons and tons of wood all around the empire and to do that we're gonna need builders and then once we get conservation next turn and we have the ability to plant woods i will throw a builder card in there to give us some extra charges too conservation is here this is the biggest kind of boost for us that's happened in this game so far the mounties are clutched the national parks are going to be so 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 good their era score their amenities it's fan their tourism it's all of it it's going to be great uh, we have these sanctuaries now for our two preserves which is going to be great and then we have the ability to plant woods from builders which is just just phenomenal we can pretty easily take the settler card out here and put the builder card back in uh, this one should give an extra two. Where are you? There we are. Public works, production awards, builders, and the extra two build actions is what we'd like. Then we'll be able to plant five woods. We also have a lot of rainforest to chop, things like that. So those five charges will be great. And I think the rest of this is good. Although I do like, I do like Republican legacy, but I think we'll be able to make up that difference with the national parks. If we take a look at the national parks, they can enhance tourism and amenities. National parks are designed by naturalist units, or in our case, Mounties, uh, which may be purchased in your city with faith after reaching conservation. Um, I'll, I'll go over the rules of natural parks later. You can kind of see we've already done the high appeal diamonds around the map. Uh, a national parks tourism output is equal to the total appeal of all the tiles, which is going to be pretty high. Uh, and then you have two amenities to the four closest cities, which is awesome. So just lots of amenities. So let's in every national park, we're kind of making up the Republican legacy difference anyway, so that's perfect. To plant woods is really, really simple. You just got to take the builder to the tile you want to plant the woods, click the plant woods button, and voila, your woods are there. And they will increase the appeal of the surrounding tiles just like woods do. Uh, the only thing they don't really do is you can't chop them the same way for production, but planting the woods is a, a huge boost. You can put lumber mills on them if you want production anyway. We're not going to do that because we're using them for national parks, but you can. And we're going to use these builders up here. We're going to clear all of this rainforest out. We're going to add a ton of woods here. Even if they're not in national parks, I just want the general appeal of the empire to be higher or as high as possible really 
All right, everybody, let's buy our first mounting unit. They cost 1,100 gold. I hadn't quite thought this all the way through about how we were going to get all these mounties, but uh, it's a start. It's a start. They got a mountie. They got a gun. I do have some problems with the mounties being Canada's unique unit. It's not my favorite decision ever, um, but I think this is going to be okay. Let's uh, make sure all these tiles are in the same city, and then voila. You can do that. We're going to have to move these tiles around to make sure we get the national parks that we want. I guess this is fine, but whatever. It doesn't, doesn't really matter as long as we get the same amount of national parks. And it's finally time to build our first national park. These are amazing. Even this tile right here, just this one alone has six appeal. Uh, another one here has five appeal. So we're going to be getting quite a bit of tourism from these national parks, especially if you really add woods there and boost the appeal as high as possible. So let's do that. And what we should see, too, is our tourism is going to go up next turn, but our culture should also go up as our cities become happier from the amenities. So we will get a little bit of a culture boost from that as well. Light is a great place for us to head. We are going to get tourism from all improvements that provide culture. Maybe not a ton for us this game, but should work on the ice hockey rinks just fine. Um, so we're going to head there. We haven't built an industrial era or later wonder, which may have been a bit of an oversight, but either way, I'm, I'm happy to be getting the tourism. I don't really want to sell my Diplo favor, if I'm being honest, but I do need the gold per turn to be able to buy the tiles, buy the mounties, those types of things. So I'm going to sell half of it for 51 gold every turn, which just over the course of those 30 turns will give us tons of tiles and a couple of mounties, which is a good decision for me. I think I am going to put our next national park here. There's no reason not to. We're utilizing the mountains. I don't need these tiles for anything. They're on a preserve anyway, so we're not going to improve them. So we'll just chuck it right there. That's fantastic. And you can see we get a good amount of error score every time. This can be increased with the Taj Mahal if you're keen on doing that. Um, but we gained about 25 tourism from the last one. So this one should be uh, similar as well. I'm going to desperately try and get 50% less production on military units here so I can build those mounties uh, quickly. And then the culture bomb one doesn't matter at all. So just who cares about the culture bomb one? Once each mountie has built both of his national parks, I think it's only right to put it on the Canadian pension plan. You know, they've worked really hard. They've done their service to our country. Uh, so I know this delete button looks like a skull. It looks very scary. Uh, really, we've just set up a really amazing mountie retirement village. You know, somewhere in Saskatoon is going to be it's going to be lovely. It's going to be cozy. They're going to have all the amenities they need. It's it's um, by Mountie. Enjoy retirement. I'm not particularly keen on doing it. I am going to purchase Hercules back from wherever Hercules came from. I want to put down a couple more theater squares. Even if they're bad theater squares, I want to generate the points. I want to get the great people. And I think that'll be worth doing. So we are going to nab Hercules back. And wherever, just wherever we can throw down a theater square, we're going to. Like in Nagano, maybe up here. Maybe we put a couple theater squares in these non-national park areas. Just to generate some more culture, some more great person points. And, and move, and kind of move our, our culture and tourism in that direction. Okay, so I may have immediately got distracted from my theater square plan with preserves. I don't think they're the best choice, but they're pretty as hell. They look nice. They're great on a thumbnail. And so I'm going to build some preserves because I am... Ah, oh, man, I hate to give this credit to what I'm a, I'm a little bit addicted to the preserve life, you know? Oh, oh, it's going to be so good. Oh, that's going to be so good once we get the uh, builders up here. If you're wondering why your national parks aren't working all the time, sometimes you just have to swap the tiles around and so they're all in the same city. And from there, then your national park will hover. So if you're kind of confused, like I swear I'm meeting all the requirements, uh, making sure all the tiles are in the same city is pretty huge. And then as we plant the woods here, this should, yeah, add, add the appeal to all the nearby tiles to kind of fully flesh out this preserve. And then we can buy sanctuaries, which is also cool. We've now been able to unlock the Canticle kind of ability here with Void Singers. That's going to allow us to buy Cultists. Those Cultists start off super cheap, and we do not need to actually loyalty flip the cities with them, although that would be a huge bonus as well. What we can do with them instead is we can just use them to get the Relics, and the Relics will fill in right where our old, our old God Obelisks are, and we got an Old God Obelisk in every city. Uh, so those should fill up and give us a, a ton of cool bonuses, really. Let's buy our first cultist in Toronto, and then we'll buy one in Montreal as well. Uh, we don't want to go too hard because we will need these for rock. We will need the faith for rock bands, um, but the relics will also give us a little more faith. And so it's a, it's an interesting balancing act to try and figure out here. I'm not going to show you every time I do this because it'll take forever. And that's not a fun video to watch, but here you can come in and you can remove the mine. And then when I plant woods and add a lumber mill here, it's going to be a roughly the same amount of production. But what's going to happen instead is that this tile will get better appeal, um, not only from not having the mine next to it, but then further from having the woods next to it, which should add it to this kind of preserved tile situation we have going on. 
Thank you for your service, Mountie. You have been wonderful. You may go now retire in the uh, Mountie Retirement Village of Saskatoon. Ooh, we loyalty flip the city. Hakodate. Yeah, sure, we'll keep it. Why not? So the way these cultists work is you put them next to a city, it will reduce their loyalty. Um, so we're going to recruit followers here. It's going to take away 10 loyalty from Bristol. Um, we're not going to be able to flip Bristol because Bristol has a positive loyalty and you can't flip a city that has positive loyalty. What we can do, though, is the, the city still gets all the negative benefits from having low loyalty. So if you do spam a bunch of cultists in a city, even if you can't take it, you can kind of cripple that city's economy for a little bit, which can be an interesting strategy if you're keen on I'm giving it a whirl. The next place I want to head in the science tree is straight for computers to give this plus 25% boost across my entire empire. Obviously great. We're trying to increase our tourism and 25% extra tourism is awesome. And then we'll come through and kind of fill some of the rest of this stuff out though. I'm not going to rush the Eiffel Tower in this game. I think it's probably good. And if we can get it later, that's fine. Um, but I think coming up to computers will be the best strategy for us. All right, so the other settlers have arrived. We can settle both cities in the tundra. There is Windsor, which is great. And then we have whatever this city is going to be. Sherbrooke, which is here. And Sherbrooke is going to lose some loyalty early on. And I think that's okay. Where's Magnus? Yeah, we don't need Magnus in Vancouver. Let's make sure Sherbrooke has a high loyalty. We are getting that four population from Hicks Hunt Dracones, which is lovely. And from there, I'm just going to slap down a, a, um, a preserve really quick to get the grove. And that grove is going to give us lots of food. And uh, that will help Sherbrooke not get loyalty flipped by evil Japan. Through my exploits of getting rid of mines and adding woods and then lumber mills to them, I managed to accidentally create a random national park in Vancouver, and I'm a sucker for a national park in Vancouver, my home city. So we're going to do this one here. You can make it even better by getting rid of this rainforest. I don't have a builder on hand at this moment, and I'm trying to save up for some sanctuaries if that's possible. So we'll just, we'll just throw the national park down. More era score is lovely. More tourism is also lovely. We're having a great time. The next thing we desperately need is rock bands. I think rock bands are really the next step in our game here. Uh, there's a lot of other cool things we can build for tourism as we go along. We are going to head to rock bands. We may or may not want to go into one of these tiered governments here. Democracy would be super helpful for the trade routes to allies, especially if we can ally with everyone but Pachacuti. The problem is, if you look at your culture victory overview, I believe it's here. Um, you get um, different. You get a different government penalty. So right now we have reduced zero for different governments. So me and Victoria must have the same government. And so as I go through here, reduce zero, reduce zero. Yeah. So I'm not getting any penalties, tourism penalties for having a different government. If I were to zoom ahead in the culture tree here and pick one of these new. Um, governments, I would get more policy cards. There could be some advantages to it, but I would lose a tourism penalty uh, for taking a new government. So I kind of want to take one of these once the rest of the AI have also taken one, just so I don't lose that tourism penalty. The next place in the culture tree that is fantastic as well is environmentalism for the plus 25% tourism additional to the science one as well. And then you have uh, social media here it gives you 5% culture per city state you're the suzerain of, which is super cool for us. That's what makes Hamiko so good in the game like this. That's what makes Kilwa so good in the game like this. Just the ability to kind of get those envoys and, and move them around to get those suzes can be super helpful. This is the last charge of this cultist, so it's perfect for me showing off how these cultists work. So you just click that there. You get Chorus of the Drowned or whatever relic you are going to get. And that relic will appear in your kind of great work slot in whatever temple or wherever it can go. Um, but that's going to give us 12 tourism per turn and four faith. So it's certainly worth the faith investment. But also that tourism is so, 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 so good. Our planting wood is yielding amazing results. This preserve is popping off here. The last thing to do is add a woods to this tile and then a woods to this tile. And hopefully that'll be enough for these two tiles to kind of get into this high appeal um, grove era thing that we got going on here. One thing to remember when planting woods for this kind of strategy is that the woods give appeal to adjacent tiles. So you can see this tile here is missing some appeal. But if I put woods on this tile, that's not going to be helpful because it only affects the tiles around it. What I want to do instead is I want to buy a tile like this one and put woods here so the appeal is going towards the tile I needed to go to. All right, fifth national park? I don't even know what national, fifth, sixth, seventh, ninth national park, or one of very many national parks going on down. We're living the dream. Up to 216 tourism, not bad, not bad. Our first national park in this huge tundra area up north is coming. Oh, those barbs gotta go for sure. Anyways, we're chucking down this bad boy. 
another three error score, another whole wackadoodle of tourism and appeal and amenities and all that good stuff. So thank you, Mr. Mounty. And you can go twice. I also have Grandmaster's Chapel, so I can buy Mounties if I need to with Faith. But again, rock bands are going to be expensive and we're going to need them. I still can't trade with Patch of Cutie and it is really bothering me. Like, I, I just want a trade center somewhere here to, like, boost the range and it's just not working. And I'm getting real sad about it, you know? You feel? All right, let's get another instructions for the Kuman Thong. Heck yeah. How much uh, tourism? Are these all giving me 12 or whatever it was? Um, oh yeah, oh yes they are. Oh yes, indeed they are. Man, cultists are sick. I'm I'm so sorry this has to happen to you, Spearman. But I... <laughs> Look at all these boats. These stupid, dumb, silly boats. Oh boy. Edgar Allan Poe is going to give us some great works of writing in the, uh, right... What is it called? What is... Amphitheater? <laughs> I was going to say the writing theater. <laughs> oh, no. This game's getting to my head. Just for your own information, I am negative concerned about going over on Aeroscore. This is going to take a while. Like, we can't hold off on building national parks for minimum 15 turns. And even then, we're, we, we should win by the next time an era comes around. So we should be okay. It's not perfect, but I am able to trade some of my Diplo favor and some of this stuff for some of his great works. And this works both ways, because not only do I acquire the great works, which aren't too much culture or tourism, but what happens is he he loses them. So it's kind of swinging all the way back around. So I think it's probably worth doing. All right, big news, everybody. We have managed to be friends with Pachacuti, which is wonderful. We're just going to go make sure we have open borders with everyone. Uh, we're we're getting close, so that's perfect. These cultists, they, they hit me in the fields every time. I'm just like, oh my god, that's so much tourism. I think we can buy our first sanctuary, too, in Victoria? We can indeed. 1760, first sanctuary going down in Victoria, adding the science, adding the gold. We're going to be trying to get as many sanctuaries as possible, just to kind of round out our yields a little bit. If we get too far ahead in culture and don't bring science along with us for the ride, we might get some weird play patterns going on. So I'm happy to bring the science and, and gold up in that way. Back to back Sherbrooke National Parks. Man, the people of Sherbrooke are freezing cold, hypothermic, and just have the most beautiful beautiful landscape to it we just got the computers technology unlocked which is huge plus 25 percent tourism across our empire puts us up to almost 500 tourism which is wonderful i would like this alliance back please and thank you will you pay me for it you will pay me for it lovely and then next up here we're, we're really trying to use our economy as good as possible our faith economy is going to be used for rock bands pretty early on and then what we need to do are pretty early on after unlocking them and i think we're just gonna use our gold for builders we could also spam builders down here and then move them up the problem is it takes so long that for the builders up here i think we're just gonna have to buy them unfortunately um we're, we're kind of right next to we take a look at the culture victory screen we are right next to victoria who is kind of our main culture opponent so we'll be able to at least send rock bands there first she's not on the other side of the map um she does have christo redentor though which is a good kind of culture defense mechanism not for this our specific type of tourism but just in general Ooh, Cynthia, I give you aluminum and cocoa, and I don't care about either of those two things, and you give me an Uzuzueli Berversman, which gives me tourism and culture. I'll take that. And feel free not to YouTube comment how to correctly pronounce that, because I won't remember. And this is our era. We're in our modern, we're in our mo we're in our modern era. We're actually in our modern culture era right now. Blue jeans and rock and roll, baby. And we got rock bands. Heck yeah. Well, everyone else is also in a golden age, so pfft, that sucks. Oh well. Um Hicksunt is not helpful anymore so probably reform the coinage for the extra gold heartbeat esteem is pretty good but i think reform the coinage is probably best for us rock bands are in it is now time to go straight to environmentalism then straight down to social media come hell or high water and uh, not being in a later government is kind of an issue and it's just a balance of what what can i do with those policy cards versus what am i losing uh, from having the negative tourism boost around the world. So we're just have to play it by ear and kind of find the right balance point to switch over. It is time, though, for our first couple of rock bands. They start at 600 and go up 100 every time. So you can see we're already melting our way through our faith. And um, we should probably find a few more cultists just to fill out our um, the rest of our old god obelisk. We have quite a few. Yeah, yeah, we need, we need a few cultists, don't we? 
I've, I've purchased a lot of cultists. We've been we've been cultizing the world, but I think you got to keep going. If they're going to give you 12 tourism per thing, you got to keep doing it. And we are back for another edition of planting a national park in the random tundra that we found and stole from Japan. Cool. I hope you could hear those. I don't know. I don't know what my audio settings are right now. I changed them for stream and recording. So hopefully you heard that air horn. If not, I've just been embarrassing myself over this wonderful animation. The best rock band promotion is album cover art, at least in my kind of experimental experience. Rock bands suck though. Rock bands are terrible. I mean, sorry. Rock bands are very good at helping you win a culture victory. They suck in the sense that they're super random and they are just infuriating to kind of get on a roll and get started. So we're going to choose album cover. Our furry Canal is going to go on tour and, and hopefully we get some good luck here. Double album cover art is huge. Tame Bugs and Furry Canal are going to have a great time on tour. She's got rock bands. She's got rock bands. She's got rock bands. No, 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 no. That's 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 illegal. She's committing a crime against our empire. Dang. So these guys work best on wonders. There's a wonder. Uh, yeah, let's go sing a song, Tame Bugs. Um, I'm sorry the rock band song is... I uh, Look... I didn't create this rock band song. I am blown away that the audio team on Civ 6, which is so good, could not make more than one kind of easy to listen to rock band jingle so as to not be mind-numbingly annoying. So if you have to listen to this a thousand times, I'm sorry. Maybe I'll be able to find something to dub over it with, but let's listen to it together the first time. All right, Tame Bugs did not get the level up. That is worrying. That is worrying. All right, 2,500 tourism, they didn't die. So that's huge. So 2,500 tourism, that's like five turns worth of tourism just from that rock band. That's why these are so clutch because five turns versus the tourism in one turn obviously accelerates things uh, greatly. Welcome on in to another edition of Random National Park in the cool tundra area we stole from Japan. All right, let's get some rock bands going up in Sherbrooke and Windsor so we can kind of start sending them down to Japan. You want to you want to even out your rock bands. There are some places that are better than others. Usually you can just pick who's leading in the culture victory and just kind of send it that way. Um but you want you want you want to be getting that tourism everywhere around the map. You're trying to attract tourists from all the empires, right? Ah, oh, furry canal. Fur this is the part that's infuriating. Ah! We can trade with Pachacuti. We can do it. The trading posts have come in. We're going to Kuzku, baby. Oh, yeah. So we're, we're miss, still missing a few people. Uh, but we can trade. We can trade with Japan again, too. I don't know what happened. Oh, I remember what happened. We lost our thing here, and we got to we gotta send the trader. But that's going to be fine. Hint guide of Civilization 2, created by Void Singers. Cool. So it's just a fake relic. Awesome. <laughs> awesome stuff. Okay. She did build a lot of the good wonders, but I think we'll be able well, I think we'll be fine. And Tame Bugs gets the level up. Yes. Welcome to another edition of National Park in the Random Tundra area. We stole from Japan. Oh, she's sending her level. She has a level three rock band from where? Where does she have a level three rock band from? How is that possible? This is why I hate rock bands. <laughs> All right, Cold House on a theater square where you're naturally good. And you get the level up. Yes, Cold House. Good. I'm not going to lie to y'all. If she has multiple high level promoted rock bands, we're going to be in a we're going to be in a whole lot of trouble. Oh, she just got 10,000 tourism. She's got 10,000 tourism. She's got 10,000 tourism. She just got 10,000 to if I she just got 10,000. She just got 10,000 tourism. And I. I hate everything. She just got 15,000 tourism. This is why they're so infuriating because yours always suck and theirs are always so good. Oh. Right, you're good at campuses now, please. Yes, cold house, good stuff. Yeah. 
All right, 1250 though. That's the thing. It's not 15,000. All right, if, you're, if your rock band is like this one, is just kind of bad at everything, on a wonder is usually okay. Yeah, it's usually fine. Watch this. She's gonna get like a million tourism. 10,000! Ah! All right, we got the sanctuary up here, which is something, but the, these rock bands are causing an actual problem. Like her rock bands are causing me actual issues with trying to win this game. <laughs> oh, her tourism is 928. Oh no. Oh no. So her passive tourism and her active rock band tourism are better than ours. Jeez. Oh dear. Yeah, I might need the 14. The, pro the this is just the problem though is like a three promoted rock band that just has like impunity can never really die and just gets 15,000 tourism a turn. It's going to be hard for us to compete with. Please don't die. How do I kill you? Who is it? The angry governors. I'm an angry governor. That's what's going on here. We're all angry. Hot ghost. No, 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 no. Uh, welcome to another episode of National Park in the Tundra we stole from Japan. It's, uh, it's less cool when uh, Victoria has um, 1,008 tourism per turn. It's less, it's less fun when that happens. All right, we will improvise. We will adapt. We will overcome. We will build a random holy site in the middle of nowhere. The barbs must now pray. And now she blocked our rock bands. And now she blocked our rock bands. Oh, oh God. Oh God, oh God. Okay, so environmentalism's coming. And now she's, now she's blocked our rocky bands. Oh dear. All right, desperate times call for desperate measures. I've got to neuter her any way I can, and this is six tourism per turn. She she's not getting. On the bright side, while our rock bands are banned from everywhere, it allows me to buy some more cultists, get some more national parks. I can faith purchase some mounties. So in that sense, things might be okay. Another fifteen thousand? Why is it fifteen thousand every turn? All right, cold house, give me 15,000. Give me 15,000. 3,000 is not 15,000. 2,000 is not 15,000. In any other game, I'd be happy with this guy, but... Ah. Uh... Welcome to another edition of the Building National Park in the forest we stole from Japan. I'm still sad, but I'm going to pretend to be less sad so I don't ruin your video watching experience. All right, 958, which is significantly better. She has 1,300 tourism now? <laughs> no, 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 bad, bad, Victoria. Oh, now Scythia's blocked rock pads. <laughs> that's the other thing that's happening is because England is being such a prick. And by prick, I mean playing really well. Now I can't rock anywhere. We're rocking on the Oracle. 13,000! 13, 13,000! We are England. It's coming home. It is coming home. Pachacuti, look, I know I'm giving you a great deal here. I'm absolutely desperate. I need ever. I need, I just literally anything. Literally anything. I can't even afford to call it this anymore. Like any amount of tourism, any amount of appeal, any amount of anything. Another 13,000, another 13,000, another 13,000, another 13,000. England's gonna lose. Uh, 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 uh. All right, I'm gonna buy research labs here. I'm gonna tr try our best to get us just as far through any of the tech trees as we can get. And hopefully from there, hopefully from there we can make uh, a miracle happen because um, it's not looking good at this point, everybody. I'm, I'm censoring the music. I, controversial take. Uh, at this point, I, I think the music is a problem. And British rock and roll, I'm not a fan. All right, now let's go in and make sure anything we can theme has been themed. All right, we themed this one here, which is good. I did accidentally theme that one, though, so we'll take that. Cool. 
All right, we got satellite broadcast now, which is giving us another 50 tourism. And it's taken a lot of theater square uh, work projects, a lot of wonders going down, a lot of purchasing of, of um, great works. But I think we're finally at the point. We're kind of leading. We still don't have the lowest amount of culture we need to get to. We are kind of leading now. She's really slowed down since the rock bands aren't much of an option anymore. And so hopefully, 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 hopefully we'll be able to figure this out. I'm trying to save up for this great merchant. If we can get there quickly, get the extra plus 25% tourism to the trade routes as well, since we're already utilizing that as part of our strategy. Overpowered squirrels? 5,000, we'll take it. We'll take it. England has nowhere else to go with their rock bands. Cold house, cold house, yes, 17,000. 17,000! We have a bunch of holy sites coming in as well that have been super helpful. We have shrine going down in Nagano. Uh, we got the, the shrine fixed up here in St. John. We got the Watt going in, which is going to be great. Um, but all these little... We're trying to just find any little advantage we can get here. We're saving up for uh, this great person, which I think by next turn or the turn after we should be able to afford, hopefully before he can buy it. Oh, or that would be not nice. Not very nice at all. Oh, no, 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 no. What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? No, 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 no. Victoria, 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 Victoria. Vicky T, Vic Dog. What's up? What did you do? I need some gold. I need some gold right now. I need to chop out that Eiffel Tower. Come on, cold house. No, no, that was the one giving us 17,000. No, 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 no. All right, next turn we get 50% more tourism for trade routes and we get the extra culture from the city-state sues. All right, huge moves, huge moves coming in hot here. Okay, we need this 50% trade route, so bye-bye 21 culture. And then we need this 178 culture, so bye-bye 40 gold per turn probably. And we'll see what that does for our tourism. Our main man uh, bought that great merchant, by the way. So we're 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 not we're not getting it. I mean, if the goal of the game is win at all costs, I gotta be prepared to 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 walk the walk. So she's not gonna have a ton of tourism if her cities are burned to the ground, is she? Oh, you're not trading your great works anymore, but bro, broski, brosif, bro, bro, bro. Do we really want Victoria to win? All right, I'm just I'm literally just gonna have to rock band in Japan again and and just hope. What's the point of having a thousand culture? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, uh, okay. I don't think I can be friends with her. I, I need to keep open the option of of ruining her cities. Okay, we got the Eiffel Tower. That is a thing that's going to give us a lot of appeal in our empire and, and, and going to give us some tourism from having a wonder. So this is fine. This is good. This is a good thing. Even if we lose this game, there's a good thing that's happening. Romeo and Juliet fantasy overture. Okay, I can vibe with that. That sounds neat. She's getting 3,000 tourism right now. 3,000 tourism. You know how ridiculous that is? You know how absolutely bonkers banana sandwich that is? Um, she's still in the same government though, so we're good. All right, I'm doing the unthinkable. I'm using our hard-earned cash to purchase a Ferris wheel and an aquarium so that one day I can build an aquatic center. All right, we got another national park coming down. Thank goodness. That's another big chunk of air score, another big chunk of tourism. Theater score festivals, we, we're just we're just all in on, we're all in on the sauce. Culture, tourism, whatever we can get. This will be, we just need one more build charge here, but that's fine. Uh, you're good on spaceports and campuses. So please, 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 please. No, 375 is not enough. Ah! Yes, she's in a dark age. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Wish you were here. Cities with governors receive plus 50% tourism from World Wonders, plus 100% tourism to all national parks. All right, tame bugs. Come on. 4,000 tourism. That's good. That's good. That's good. It hasn't updated yet per turn with our new kind of um, national park bonus. So that should be, that should be, mo I think most of our tourism is coming from national parks. So 1652. Where are we headed with that? 2442. So that gained us like 600 extra tourism. Thank God. Did we win? Did we win? Did we win? Did we win? Did we do it? Okay, let's just let's just secure it. Get that 5250. Shift enter. Shift enter. Please, 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 please. Yes! 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 Oh my god. 
Oh my god. But in how those oh my god, chat. And how they are You're not even Twitch, this is YouTube. I'm still calling you chat. Ah! Oh, I hope you love that. That was stressful as hell. Oh, I hope you love that. I'm gonna go have a heart attack and die now. Oh my god. Okay, I need to go nap. I need to go rest. Oh, well, thank you all so, so, so much for being here, for taking in this game with me, for being here for this experience. If you enjoyed that, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check out all the links in the feed. Um, ask me how I'm doing in an hour. I guess when you see this video, it'll be a day or two from now, but holy good guacamole. That was, that was a lot. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you, and we will see you in the next one.